Alright guys, so I'm back with a follow-up video with my water damaged Xiaomi Mi 6. If you've seen the video, I dunked it in some water, put it in a jar of water, and it lasted about 1 minute 30 before it completely just ended up powering itself off. Now removing the rear plate actually was really easy, surprisingly easy. I thought I would really have to get out heat guns and use a massive suction cup and things like that on it, but no, not the case here. You can see that I've just got a tiny little suction cup and I managed to pull up one corner and pull it off. So in the inside of the housing here, you can see it has just this double-sided, well, this sticky tar-like seal that you see on most mobile phones. I mean, the Samsung Galaxy S6, uh, the Note 5 and all that, they all have that to secure the glass in place on the rear. Now, the inside of it, once it went into the rice, I later found out that it was full of water. About five minutes later, I gave the phone a squeeze and all this water just came pouring out the bottom of the speaker. And that's when I knew, wow, I've got to open this thing up. And that's what I did. So the back cover comes off very simple and easy there. And this is the loudspeaker and haptic feedback motor. I'll give you a close up look at that soon when I swap over to my macro lens to get some real nice close ups of the components. Battery cell there, of course. So the frame of it looks really strong. You can see internally that's all a metal frame that all the components are screwed into. So the build quality to me seems really good. Now we'll have a video coming up soon. It'll be a scratch test and a bend test, possible drop test as well, just to see how it's gonna hold up to that kind of abuse. The motherboard to dry it out, what I did was just unscrew it all, remove it, completely and I got all the water out. I dried it out. I used a hair dryer and I gave everything a clean but there is some visible damage which I'll show you in just a second. The water has um, left some oxidation, uh, some corrosion on some parts and looks like it has arced and shorted out components so that's why my unit isn't working. So people asking is it powering on? No it's completely dead. There is no LED plugging it in either. I have tried, I put everything back together, plugged it into charge, left it, no status LED for charging, no signs of life, nothing. Now when it was wet it was making this funny noise and I think that came from the power plug around here which had a lot of damage to it like black as if it was shorting out there. That's possibly part of the reason why it's not powering on or it wouldn't charge either. So dual LED flash that you can see, camera module, I'll give you a close up of that in just a second, front facing cameras here. Now this is soldered in, it's like some shielding around the Snapdragon 835 chipset and they've probably um, got some, I'd say thermal solution on that. The back of it, the motherboard, if I lift that up, you see how everything's just screwed into the frame of the whole, the inner frame of the mobile, has some, well some glue that's holding it down and that'll be acting as a huge heat sink, the internals of the phone, or the internal metal frame will be transferring heat onto that. So that's why it doesn't get hot. I've been gaming on this thing for a couple of hours and it only gets slightly warm to the touch. Really good temperatures, probably because of this and this Snapdragon 835 just isn't really a hot chipset, I think. Here you can see some of the water damage that caused a little bit of oxidation around here. And in places, I think it was actually shorting out and arcing like here, for example, you can see signs of damage there, but it looks like to me like it's shorted through there to the actual whole housing. And you can see too, along the top here where there's a bit of copper behind the camera module, possibly to help keep it cool, the reaction the water had with that close up there of our proximity and light sensor, as well as that front facing eight megapixel camera. And the battery cell, so as claimed, it is 3,350 milliamp hours uh, with a minimum there of 3,250 milliamp hours. There's the SIM card reader, so dual SIM, nano SIM support. And this, of course, is our dual camera module here. So there's the optical image stabilized camera module. Next to that, the fixed two times zoom with the larger lens on there. So this is very easy to replace. The whole thing just simply plugs out with one of those little clips you can see there. Now my camera, I would say, is non-usable. The water got inside it and it's probably damaged and put dirt on top of the sensors. So I imagine the image quality would really suffer. This is what was on the back here. So that's the loudspeaker module. 
clearly no waterproofing around any of this. This here looks to be, I would say, the haptic feedback motor, and that simply just fits over the top here and very easy to remove. Type C port, and this whole motherboard, this can be replaced. And it looks quite simple to me. There's just an aerial plug here. So if you unplug that, that whole board there should be replaceable if you did run into problems with your Type C port. If it stopped working, it wouldn't charge or wouldn't work with data anymore. So everything goes back together really nicely. And you see that this part along here, that's where the NFC antenna is. Well, the receiver. And it does not power on. Holding down the power button, I've tried to charge it, everything. This is one completely and very dead Mi 6. Rear panel, this is going to fit on real nice and easy. Just need to push it back into place, that double-sided tape. So stay tuned to the channel for the scratch and bend test, which is up and coming. Hope to catch you then. Thank you so much for watching this video.